Hi guys, it's Music Clues here, and welcome to one of our many videos this week, and live streams too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, today we are going to be talking about the rebrand ending of the Go Gamers, and some changes that are coming to the channel, and I'll, like almost immediately after this video gets posted. So just thought I'd give you guys a small heads up that some of these changes are immediate, but yeah. Um... So, without further ado, as you can see, this rebranding update will talk about some changes to the logos, banners, and other stuff as well. Oh, and I will show off our brand new portfolio picks and our brand new ba banners as well. Um, I am still working on DJ Law and DJ Gem's brand new banners, so that's going to be a WIP for now, but um, I can show you my, off my and Ethan's new Twitter banners that I made. So, yeah. But without further ado, let's jump into the first big change. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about are changes to logos. And we're going to start off with obviously mine, because I am the leader. And obviously, you've already seen what my logo looks like, looks like on Twitter, if you're following me on Twitter, that is. So, yeah. So the first thing I want wanted to sh uh, talk about with my new logo is, unlike my previous logos, which has usually just shows the MC, now it shows my name in full. So now it shows music clues across the way instead of just MC. I figured that I would show my username fully across because now everybody knows what MC stands for unless you follow me. So, yeah. Um... And also, I didn't get rid of the poplin. I figured since I am still called Music Clues, it'd be a little, little strange that I get rid of that pop poplin. So I decided to keep it and use it for the first for the first letter in my username, which is the letter M. So it still has mu music and it goes clues. So it's kind of similar to Ethan N's logo in a way, uh, which. You've also seen his new logo, but we'll talk about that later. So, it shows my username in full, and now it also keeps the blue poplet, blue clues poplet that I've been using for a very long time, since I am still called Music Clues. Uh, uh, but this is just still a work in progress logo, but I figured I'd still show it off, because I think it's finished enough that I can show, show it off and start using it, so... Um, I do plan to add some Zelda stuff, since I did grow to be a bit more of a Zelda fan, thanks to Idle Warriors and stuff, so, um, I will plan to add some Zelda stuff, and I also plan to add some Sonic stuff to it, too, like some golden rings around it, uh, to represent me being a Sonic fan. The Blue Lives represent that me being both a Blue Clues fan and a Sonic fan, fan that's a little wavy, uh, and, yeah, so that's what... Uh, that's why I plan to uh, add that into the mix. Uh, the last thing you probably have noticed is that I actually added some Blue's Clues font. Yes, I know, I know, no, I'm that big of a fan, end of the show. <laughs> but yes, I added Blue's Clues font to the mix, so that way you guys can see see that, uh, well, I'm called Music Clues for a reason, and since I have the Blue's Clues pop print, why not add the font to it? So, yes, I have the Blue's Clues font as well. Oh, and that's really all the changes to my logo. So, next up, we're going to talk about Ethan N's logo. So, let's go over to his logo. All right, guys, now let's talk about Ethan's new logo. So, as you can see, it has a couple classic elements to it, but it also has a couple... Uh, well, actually a lot <laughs> new stuff to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the E in Ethan's logo, which actually has font based off of the Legend of Spiral series. The reason is, with Ethan's upcoming excitement for the upcoming uh, Legend of Spiral Reignition trilogy, I thought I based his E off of uh, the Spiral series. I had a hard time no finding font that would actually work for the logo logo, but then I stumbled across the Legend of Spiral font, font, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll use this. This since even does like a Legend, uh, one of the Legend of Spiral games, so yeah. So the E is based off of the Legend of Spiral. Um, also, you may have noticed that Ethan's Fire Emblem Shield is staying, and the reason that of that being is because, well, Ethan is still a big Fire Emblem fan, 
And, and obviously I had to put something in there fire-related, and I really didn't feel like digging around to find Ike's sword again, so... <laughs> Uh, that's the main reason why. So Ethan's Fire Moon Shield from his previous logo is staying. And also, if you notice real carefully, that this is actually based off of, I believe, Fire Moon Awakening Shield. So, and that one's actually one of Ethan's favorite Fire Moon games. So, <laughs> uh, what a coincidence. Also, you know, may have noticed that the rest of Ethan's font, font uh, the rest of Ethan's name looks different than the E in his logo. So, um, unlike mine, which uses Blue Clues font across the way, uh, Ethan uses two other fonts. The rest of Ethan's name actually uses the PlayStation, classic PlayStation font that uh, Sony has used in the past for the PlayStation branding and stuff. So I thought since Ethan is getting back into Sony, only PlayStation, and also has a history with PlayStation 2, I thought I'd make the fun of Ethan's name, name in Sony font. So... Well, Sony PlayStation font. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, you probably have n noticed that uh, Ethan's uh, N in his name, Ethan N, and has uh, orange sugar around it, around it and a weird looking N. That's because um, the N is actually based off of a Dragon Ball's font I found online. Line, and since Ethan only had Ethan Z, I figured I we add, add the elements, but instead call it Ethan N. At N and uh, the circle of behind it is actually a Dragon Ball from the game from the series. So uh, the ball, the little orange circle, and the N are both based off of Dragon Ball. And because Ethan has just recently got back in Dragon Ball thanks to Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z Fighters, uh, why not add, add that element too? So Ethan has three different fonts: Legend of Spiral font, um, for his E, D fun. Underneath its name is based off of the Sony font that Sony has used for the PlayStation branding. And the the orange-ish ball and the N are based off of the Dragon Ball series. So, three different elements. Uh, so, yeah, Ethan will be permanently using this logo, so that means um, um, as soon as this video is over. In fact, Ethan already has his brand new portfolio pick up on his... Uh, uh, Twitter account, as well as his brand new banner, which I put, which we did a couple weeks ago, I think. So, um, yeah, his portfolio's all set, and mine is too, so, yeah. But now, it's time to talk about, uh, two of our recently new members, uh, DJ A. Law, who just joined us last year, yeah, back in December, I believe, and DJ Gem, which at, who sh who actually just joined us about two to three months ago, I think. So yeah, now DJ Gem is, is completely new. She never had a logo before, so um, I made her one from scratch. Uh, but DJ uh, DJ Lo Laura uh, has been with us for a while, and I did make a logo a while back. But I thought since I'm redoing the whole Go Gamers chant and rebranding, I. I'd make a brand new logo from scratch that more represents what she do does on the channel as well as other stuff, but yeah. Okay, so first, next up is DJ Lola. So let's go and talk about her new logo. Alright, now let's talk about DJ Lola's brand new logo here. So first of all, I want you to uh, I wanted to let you know that this will be her new logo, not only for the Go Gamers but also her personal channel. Since uh, out of the four of us, DJ Gem and DJ Law still have their own separate YouTube channels from the Go Gamers. So yeah, she and her will still be using her lo their logos for their own channels as well. Um, but yeah, this is a brand new logo for both her channel and the Go Gamers, and obviously her Twitter account too. To, I did make a portfolio pick for her, and I just sent it to her via DM, so she'll change it soon. Hopefully she'll change it soon, and I will get a brand new logo for the regular Go Gamers up ASAP. Uh, I mean, for, I mean, a brand new banner for her Twitter account, and for, in general, in general for her ASAP as soon as I get a chance. Um, because I still got to music clues direct me to finish it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um... But uh, to talk about what each thing represents on the logo here, uh, the mic of music actually represents her love of singing. So she does 
love to sing -ing, which is now a big surprise because she does have a lot of those videos on her channel and a couple on ours as well so um well not a couple a few <laughs> she have more than just like two or three uh but um yeah it represents her love of sing singing so that's why i added it added it and obviously she still has the dj so yeah um um, now, the book actually re represents two things. Uh, one, her love of a special app known as Episode. It's really a make-your-own-story app. She's done a couple episodes on the channel, which, if you want to check some out, here's a card. And you can check some of her episodes out. Uh, well, episode stories out. <laughs> and it also represents her love of role-playing. She actually likes to role-play play too, too, so... I, I'm a semi role player myself, so hey, I thought I had a book for that reason too, since role plays are kind of like stories. Stories that fans make up for some of their favorite fandoms, like Pokemon or Sonic, something like that. Now, note that um, I'm also going to add a couple other things to a logo, so this is uh, still a work in progress, but it's almost done, really. I just really feel, feel like I need to add one more thing to it. To it, uh, but. Yeah, and also like all of our all of our logos over the years, uh, this one will change season. I plan to do something special with DJ Lola so for the, well, I can't do something for the Fourth of July, but when it gets to fall, fall or maybe even Thanksgiving, I do plan to do something very special with this one. This one. So um, if you're watching this, DJ Lola, it just adds up. Uh, but yeah, this will change throughout the holidays, just like ours, our logos have over the years. So yeah, that's basically it. All right, all right. Now it's time to talk about DJ Gems, which is probably the longest explanation there is going to be in this video. All right, all right. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, guys. All right, now let's talk about DJ Gems logo. Now this will, if she wants to, she can use this new logo for her main channel that she also has. But uh, this is definitely going to be her brand new logo for the Go Gamers that will represent her here on the channel. So yeah. But first things first, let's talk about what each thing represents here on our main logo. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the Hylian Shield and Hylian and uh, Master Sword, which you obviously know is from the Zelda series. Uh, that actually represents her lo love of the Zelda series, which is... Uh, I'm not, not too surprised. She has done a couple cosplays of Zelda, I think, I think in the past. Correct me if I'm wrong, DJ Jam. Um, and she also has done on a couple, I think, music videos, actually, of, a, of uh, Zelda as well in the past, which is also not very surprising. And I think one of her favorite characters is actually Link. That or Dark Link, I don't know. Uh, but if any of this is long, DJ Gem, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the Master Sword and Hyrian Shield represents her love of the Zelda series. Um, now, uh, the paintbrush, the paint in the background, and the pencil represents both her painting and drawing abilities. I think she paints, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, uh, did, I added a paintbrush and a pencil to her logo as she put, when I showed her the first version of it, uh, she personally asked me, asked me to, uh, change it. So I went in and decided to change the logo so it so it will reflect her a little bit more. So yeah, I added that that for that reason, reason alone. So she is actually a very good drawer from what I've seen, as well as a very good, uh, as well as a very good cosplayer as well. I've seen a couple pictures of her draw, of her pictures, pictures of what she's done. So, uh, good job, DJ Jam. Good job. Um, um. Now, the mic, unlike DJ Laws, it actually represents a love for a specific kind of music. She does not call on her channel, which is obviously what you guys know is music sped up very fast. Um, that's actually done a lot with anime music, which, again, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, but she also is a big fan of Vocaloid music, and suspects Miku. Miku, uh, so, and as you can see, I can spell Vocaloid, so I did Miku-style music instead, but that's what the mic represents on the logo. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, 
Now, this is actually the final version of her logo. Like I said, I showed her the first version. She asked some for some changes. And um, this will finally be her final official version of her logo, logo for the channel unless she asked me to change it. So, uh, just adds up. Now, you may have noticed that um, I used the Vocaloid, uh, a Vocaloid font I found um, for the DJ in a logo. And I used, obviously, the Zelt. A Zelda style font uh, that's based off of the actual Zelda logo for the gem in a logo. So, pretty cool, oh, in my opinion. Uh, I hope she, uh, I'm glad she really, she told me she really likes it. And uh, to answer your question, DJ Gem, I will definitely, just like all of our. Uh, just like the, uh, all of our logos in the past, I will definitely be making seasonal logos, so no worries. I will have different logos for different times of the year, year and holidays as well, so definitely going to be doing that. Okay, now I have one more change to talk about, about before we I close out this very brief and very small uh, update. And then after this, actually, I'm going to be post uh, doing a little bit of a live stream to show off uh, one of my one of my collections. I did say I was going to try to do more of these co uh, collection videos, so um, I will tell you at the end which one it is. But for now, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, anyways, let's get into the last big change coming to the Go Gamers. Alright, so the last big change is obviously the change in the logo. Logo for the Go Gamers. So, let's get a drum roll. I said, let's get a drum roll. Thank you. Ta-da! Yep, that's right. I'm actually changing our YouTube name to the Go Gaming Gang. Uh, so, and actually, that's not all. The Go Gamers will still be around, um, as that's going to be our brand new sub name, as you can see by this logo here. So, what's the reason for the change? Well, I have a lot of reasons here by this picture. So, one of the reasons is, as you can tell by our previous logo, that had the Pokemon O, O from Pokemon Go. And I did, didn't want people to think that we were Pokemon Go players, because why me, DJ Law, and Ethan N have all played Pokemon Go, we have not touched it lately. So, well, actually in quite some time. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's one of the reasons why. Why? Uh, so we're not really Pokemon Go players. I really just put that in there to represent our uh, semi love for the Pokemon franchise due to Ultra Sun and Moon, Moon and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu mainly. <laughs> uh, also, the reason why I changed it from get gamers to gaming gang is because we're not just gamers. We're get and gamers, gamers, all of, uh, me and Ethan are console gamers, gamers mainly, mainly, and not really mobile, why it's the opposite for DJ J Jam and DJ Law, they play on mobile mostly, but they do also have a console, console, uh, so, it's really for both sides of the game, and that's why it's kind of a go gaming game, gang, and, um, yeah. Also, the reason why I'm keeping the go gamer name around is because, if I say, Fellow go gaming get get for oh go gaming get see e easy to get tongue tied <laughs> so it's just easier for me to say go gamers aim aimers members than go gaming gang members that's too too that's uh, easy way for me to get tongue tied and way too long too so the go gamers will still be about found as a sub name that you guys can call us if it it makes it easier than just following all you know at the Go Gamers Gang and our YouTube username will reflect that as well. So uh, I will put the Go Gamers slash Go Gaming Gang Gang to make it easier. So there's a double nickname for uh, there's a double name for both of us uh, for both of us the Go Gamers for short or the Go Gaming Gang for the full name. Um, and now to talk about the logos, both of them are actually based off of the Nintendo Wii U, 
you, but we could really say for Nintendo in general too, too, because some of these locals are actually on the feed, yes, as well, so. Um, the O's, O's in the go for Go Gamers and Go, uh, and, uh, the Go Game. Hold on. Sorry about that. Tickle on my throat. Anyways, uh, for the Go Gamers and the Go Gaming Gang, and are actually based off of the web browser icon from the Wii U. Um, the V and the D Go Gaming Gang is actually actually based off of the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, and you can do a comparison to both logos, and I can tell you right now that this is the E from the eShop. <laughs> so pretty cool. Oh, the N. And it's actually based off of the Nintendo Network icon, on which is actually pretty cool. Cool because that also could make a representation for online gameplays, and if we do play online games like Overwatch and Splatoon on the channel, so yeah. Um, and finally, the M in our Get Go Gamers lo logo, our new one, is actually based off of well, the. The uh really Miiverse, the discontinued service from Nintendo, Nintendo. But I figured I uh we I use it use it as our M because well, there's more than just one or two of us, two of us. There's four of us, and soon to hopefully have a fifth member soon. But I'll talk about that much later. Uh, but yeah. So basically. Yeah, that's the reason for the changes. If you guys are still confused or need some clearing up, just DM me. Um, Ethan, if you need need to talk to me, just call me. Call me. I can explain it even more. More more to you. Um, um DJ Lord or DJ Gem, if you have any questions, DM me as well. Um, and obviously for the rest of you, you can uh, post uh, talk about it in the comments below. Low and uh, I can clear things up. But just to be be clear one more time before I sign off for this video. The Go Ga Aiming Gang is just our full official name, and the Go Gamers is something you can use to call us for short, since that's a mouthful for some people. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, well, well, again, thank you for supporting us, and our anniversary is coming up, up as well. So, if I do a little something special special for you guys. I can't really do an anniversary video of some sort showing the history of the channel, but I thought I'd do a couple live streams. So, um, either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how long this video takes to upload, uh, I will be doing a special live stream, stream showing off my gaming collection. So the first one, one I can tell you right now will be what's on my Nintendo Switch. I've seen a lot of people do it, so I thought, hey, let's do it. I'll do it too. Uh, then the set Second one will be what's on my Xbox One, so I will show you guys what's on my Xbox One. I'm thinking about doing a pre-recorded video for that, though, since uh, I can't really sh show you without captioning it on my caption card. Uh, and then fin finally, it will I will show you the rest of what's on my feed, yes, over here. Yeah, and then maybe after that, what's on my iPad, too, since I do have a couple apps that uh, I would highly recommend you guys checking out. But, yeah. Okay, that's all for changes, guys. Stay clued because um, hopefully by tomorrow I do have most of the pictures finished, but um, I do still need to get around to recording the Music Clues Direct Mini, and um, I am going to be going someplace place soon, so I do need to get that out ASAP. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I will see you guys later. Thank you for supporting the Go Gamers and the Go Gaming Gang. And I will see you guys soon. This is DJ Music Clues Video Game DJ with Clues Tunes, leader of the Go Gaming Gang. Out, over and out.